to another episode of Wagstaff Explains. Today's topic is ordering real numbers. Let's take a look at our question. Order the following real numbers from least to greatest. When working with problems like these, I find it best if we convert all of the numbers to decimals. So let's go up to our calculator to convert the square root of 66 to a decimal. Okay, in our calculator, we first want to type in second x squared to get the square root and then 66 and then press enter. So we can see that the square root of 66 is 8.1240. Okay, we don't need to convert negative 8 or 8.3, but let's convert 810%. So let's go back to our calculator. The way to convert a percent to a decimal is to type in your percent. And then divide by 100 since all percents are out of 100. And then press enter. So 810% is 8.1. Okay, let's go to our calculator to convert 8 and 1 third. Okay, so in your calculator, let's do alpha y equals option 2. We want to type in our mixed number 8, arrow over to the numerator, 1, arrow over to the denominator, three, and then arrow over to say that you're done with your mixed number. Now let's go back to alpha, y equals, this time we want to choose option four to convert our fraction to a decimal, and then press enter. So eight and one third is 8.3 repeating. Okay, we don't need to convert eight and one tenth, now let's go back to our calculator to convert eight and three eighths. Okay, so same process, alpha, y equals, option two. Okay, it is negative eight, arrow over to the numerator, three, and then down to the denominator, eight, arrow over to say that you're done with your fraction and then alpha y equals again this time option four to convert our fraction to a decimal so negative eight and three eighths is negative eight point three seven five Okay, now notice how this has three decimals, one, nine, this has four. Let's add zeros or extend our repeating decimals so that they all have the same decimal place. So since four decimal places is the largest, we'll go with that. So here we want to add a decimal and four zeros. Here we need to add three zeros. Here, three zeros. Here, since this is a repeating decimal, we have to add three. So let's add three threes. Here we can add three zeros. And here we add one zero. So now they have four decimal places. So now it's easier to order because we can just read the numbers and they all have the same decimal place. So on our number line, we're gonna start with zero in the middle. Notice that our negative numbers will be on the left and our positive numbers will be on the right. On your number line, keep in mind that it increases as your numbers move to the right. So let's start with our negative numbers. We have three of those. So we have our negative number here, a negative number here, and here. So we know that those are going to be our first three numbers. 
So here we have zeros, 1,000, 3,750. So we want to start with this because this is actually the smallest number. And we want to use the number that they gave us in the question. So negative 8 and 3 eighths. So I'm going to cross that out because we're done with that. Okay, next we would have 1,000. So that was negative 8.1. And then just negative 8. Okay, now we are on the positive side of the number line. And so now we're going to be counting up. Before we were counting down, now we're counting up. So we're going to start with the smallest. So we have, let's see, 1,000. So that was 810%. And then 1,240, so the square root of 66. And then 3,000, so 8.3. And then lastly, 3,333, which is 8 and 1 third. So again, converting our numbers to decimals made it this a much easier process. Thank you for watching an episode of Wagstaff Explains. Now you know how to order real numbers.